Okay, today we're going to have a go at painting a very loose watercolour poppy. I did this one following a video on YouTube by Michelle Crowell. She uses all sorts of interesting methods and techniques and it was really good fun. I thought I'd share it with you. Um, her video is very, very fast and it was quite difficult to follow what she was actually doing. So I thought I'd do a different take on it and try and slow it down and explain as I'm going along. Um, this one was what I did last night and um, I could, now it's dry, go back and add a bit more detail and I might do that and brighten it up a bit more. But I thought I'd leave it to show you how <coughs> colour fades quite a lot so you can sometimes be a bit scared of the colour that you're putting on the paper but when you're doing this really loose style when it dries it often fades quite a lot and you'll need to go back in and add a bit more oomph to it um, but I was happy with kind of the composition and the way it was laid out um, so what you'll need today is you're going to need some water um, your paper. You're not going to need a pencil and a rubber because we're not going to draw it this time. We're just going to be brave and go in there. If you've got a big brush, you could do with a big brush and a little brush for this one. Your colours, you can do whatever colour you like. I would recommend you get either your Prussian blue or a bit of black and purple for some of these bits and sap green. Always good to have a bit of yellow or a bit of orange to show where the light is and, and maybe a bit of burnt umber or burnt sienna to darken some of the tones. Um, but you can do whatever colour you like. I've experimented and did a few. These are all unfinished and they're not very good. As you can see, I was just playing. But the other thing I did with this one is I used salt. So we could have a go at salt as well. You can see the effect it gives you here and here. It's very, very pretty. The other new thing is she used a toothpick. Well, I don't have any tooth, not, yeah, the wooden toothpicks, but I haven't got any of those. So I used one of these. So, and that's to give you these little bits. And also this, which is, Poppies have very hairy bits on them, don't they? So it just adds all that little bit of extra detail. It's a bit of fun as well. So you can use a reference photo if you want, um, just to give you a, a rough idea of the shape of a poppy. And, um, and then you just get your water, your brush, don't forget your tissue and you get a reasonably wet brush and you can see I've still got some colour left in my brush. I'm not the best at washing my brushes out. So I'm going for a poppy shape here. I'm just going to splash some stuff around as well and let's go for another shape here and let's go for a big open oh you can't see that sorry I'm using a bigger bit of paper than I normally do here big round bit there a few more splashes and we're ready to add some colour so I'm gonna go kind of red Wow, look at that. Isn't this fun? Oh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Just have to keep moving my paper. Shout at me if you can't see.
Okay, so lots of blobbing. Let's go in with some yellow. If we think the light's going to be on this side today. do I'm just going in and taking a bit out okay and then um, let's get a bit of oh, dark color I don't want it to run too much so I'll just dab that a bit Make it a bit thicker, rub it in and get my toothpick. And I'm just gonna do the same here. I think you're gonna be able to see where I'm coming from. So, might. So, this is going to be I have to add a bit more water and that. Just the trouble with doing loose and big ones is that. I'm actually standing up for this, which means camera and I'm getting in my way. So I don't want that because because you see this is where a leaf's leaf petal's gonna be. And again in here. So the other thing, well that's all enjoying itself, add a little bit more colour in places. I've got to do another one here. And the other thing with the green is with some of the poppies they have a greeny bit in the middle. So keep going, add in your colour, playing with it. Dabbing when you think you've done too much. You can kind of 
kind of put this on its side and push as well. I quite like what the green's done in the middle there, so I'm going to add a bit here as well. Because in the middle, you have that green bit, don't you, that with the kind of the bits that go across. So... Add a bit more and uh, just let it need more kitchen. Okay, so now we're going to get down to a little bit of a finer thing. So we're going to get a bit of sap green and I'm going to mix it with a bit of dark blue. So that would be Prussian blue, I think. And I'd kind of mix that stalk there. So with that one, that's one that I might just add that little bit of detail. The idea, oops, got my finger in that bit, is that it's loose. It doesn't need to be too detailed. But these little additions of things that you do can just add to the realism, even though it's a lovely loose painting. And I think what I'm going to do in those buds is just get a bit of colour on. So if you wanted to at this stage, you could get a little bit of salt and sprinkle it onto the areas where it hasn't dried. You might get a nice, nice effect. Adding a few more splatters. Gosh, my water's filthy. And now I'm going to go in again with a bit more, a bit more detail. So. 
I'm not sure you want to lift some of that colour in there. So just lift it like that. And down here, sorry, can't see that. Just lift in a bit. Now I'm going to add my greeny bluey. Crazy, so I'm just going to dab that and I'll come back to it. And that's a bit dull, so I'll just whip a bit of that off like that. So just keep going. Now, you can see here we want to accentuate that that leaf is in front of this centre flower. So we need a little bit of, of darker red. I'm just going to do it on the side of the brush like that. You can kind of get that. It's not a smooth finish. And here we could maybe do a little bit over there, but more orangey, I think. This is a very weird shape in the middle, but hey ho, it's not going to be anatomically correct, I don't think. Here, let's just maybe finish off. this leaf petal, why do I keep calling them leaves? And I think I'm just going to leave that bit once the salt's dry that's going to look quite nice. I'll add a bit of a bit more orangey yellow to it. And then a bit more deeper red down this side. might even change the shape a bit. I like it's a bit too pumpkin-like at the minute. I'll bring this one down there. A bit like that. Add a bit of orange. And a bit more of this now to me it doesn't look like I've got the stem in the right place now so I might just bring that a bit So, what fun is this? You can just splash and play and add salt. You want to go in now and maybe add a little bit 
more detail to things you can you can give these these a little bit more light and dark And that one here, we, we squished a bit, didn't we? So go back in and maybe. Add a little bit more to that. It is easier to do these pictures stood up. So, let me just pull the camera back a bit. Try not to look at my uh, dirty table and the mess that I make when I'm painting. There you go. You've got a big, splotchy, poppy picture. Now, when that's dry, you can go back in. Oh, there's all the wire from the microphone. You go back in and um, add some more ooh, detail. Sorry. I'm still really not quite good at this yet. Um, I hope you have fun.